What up you guys, my name is William Curry and today we'll be re reviewing Copenhagen or Cope Whiskey Blend and um, I'll be telling you a little bit about myself. Um, like I said, my name is William Curry, I'm from West Virginia um, and there's not very much to know about me. I like music, Xbox, uh, there's just several different things to know about me. I, um, I throw shot put in track, and I'm a center in the high school football team. I'm only 16, so, you know, I do my best whenever I'm trying to get snuff. Uh, my dad recently started buying it for me, which I'm really happy about that. So, let's just get to the snuff, and I'll tell you all a little bit more about myself. Um, so, presentation, it's, it's a nice can. I think it looks really good. It really does. Sorry, I had some floaters. I had retried this video a minute ago and I had to take out my dip and just set it aside for later. But, uh, yeah, so it's got a really weird smell to it. It doesn't really smell a lot like whiskey, like it says on the can. So, uh, yeah. Um, whenever you open it up, the smell of it really hits you in the face. It's a really weird smelling snuff. Uh, and uh, we got a pretty decent date. I don't know if y'all can see it, but this is like April 26, something like that. I can't really read it. It's all smudged up on this. Line your can up. God dang it, I'll kick your asshole in. Oh. This texture's, uh. It's got a really, like, normal Copenhagen texture to it. I got stuff all over my tongue. Yeah, I got braces. So everybody gives me hell for that, for dipping with that. But I think it keeps it in place a lot better. I mean, if you ever chew uh, Copenhagen, it's the same texture as all the Copenhagen. It's not too rough and stuff. It's a mid-cut dip, too. Um, it's not very moist snuff. I mean, it dries out really fast. The saying Copenhagen could have done a lot better job on the moistness. I mean, god dang it, they've been around since 1822, something around there. Um, it's got some decently dark spit. I mean, yeah, I haven't really got around to getting a mud jug yet, so we're just gonna use our little crystal glacier water geyser, not glacier. What the hell? Why the hell did I say glacier? But, um. Some people really like the mud jugs. I just don't really see the point in them. But if you want to get one, they're on mudjug.com. And I think Redneck Nation, Darcy, I mean, you can go check out his. He's got a huge, not, yeah, Darcy. He has them up on his little wall there. And then Outlaw, he has that little, that huge stack, not little. And then, then there's Joey Leds with his little four. Or five, I can't remember. Um, Joey Ledge recently gave me a shout out. I haven't even made a dip review yet. This is my first one. Blew my mind. I mean, I can't thank him enough for that. He's a, I'm a big fan of his. I mean, I really am. I mean, I've never been so starstruck in my whole life whenever I seen that he, uh, gave me a shout out. It was in his mint video. I was like, holy shit, John, look at this. My little brother, he couldn't believe it either. He's been, he's been the only person that knew I knew I dipped for the longest time. Um, most people say you shouldn't start out on stuff like Copenhagen and stuff like that, but, uh, I did. I started out on Copenhagen original long cut. Talk about a buzz from hell your first time putting in a dip. Jesus Christ. I was sitting on my, my recliner watching The Walking Dead and put one in. Knocked me on my ass. I was laying there in the chair. So, oh, God. But, um, 
I've been dipping for around a year now. And um, I don't get a buzz anymore. I mean, I've been dipping every day. Non-stop, every day. I literally got a ticket for it. They had a drug search. Went in there, dumped all our stuff out on the tables. My can of uh, Copenhagen Wintergreen. Hit the table and rolled down the table. Crossed everybody's artwork in the art room. They're like, Mr. Curry? Um, yes, Mr. Officer. Is this your Copenhagen? Uh, yeah. So I got a $215 fine and eight days community, eight hours community service. Boy, was my mom and dad pissed. That's when they found out I dipped because uh, they had to bring a ticket home. I was like, Mom, Dad, you got a ticket. Like, Jesus Christ, Will, my dad about beat my ass. And then, uh, couldn't believe it. Uh, I've been doing good for since my ninth grade year to my tenth grade year. Never got caught. Always had it with me. Always carried it with me. Put it in my bag one time. I would have been fine if I would have left it in my pocket behind my wallet like I usually do. My cousin always said to keep it in your boot. They'll never find it there. Yeah, bull crap. One of my friends got caught the same day I did. I had it in his boot and gave it up. Why the hell would you give it up if you know you're safe? Jesus Christ. Some people are just idiots. Um... I've been rambling on here a little bit, but uh, I decided to tell you all a little bit about myself. Uh, there ain't very much to know. I'm a pretty boring person. I live. A, I lead a very boring life. I pretty much just sit in front of my computer and do nothing all the time. Other than whatever I have to stay after and lift and do sports and stuff. I mean, other than that, I mean, I'm a fat ass. I mean, Jesus Christ, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> um, it packs together very nice. This stuff does. Holy crap. But, uh, yeah. Mm. I don't really have that many subscribers, but the people who will see this video and stuff, I guess I will shout out. Joy Les Dippin' 94, Outlaw, um, Brittle Dips, and Metal Art Dippin' 99. They don't really know me, but I decided to throw their names in there, so if somebody was like, let's look up a Copenhagen Cope Whiskey Blend fucking review, they'll find me and see that shout out. So, uh, Huge thanks to Joey Les for shouting me out. I've never been so starstruck my whole life. Uh, sorry, there's no editing or anything in this video. I haven't really got a really bad float. I mean, half the dip just came up. And it was like, uh. But um, I haven't really got around to a lot of that stuff yet. But uh, I'm going to try to get better at that. I mean, I can't really help it. I mean first YouTube video ever besides my Barracuda ones with my and my truck if you want to check them out too you're more than welcome um, but uh my freaking computer screen just went darker and piss on me I don't have very good lighting and I'm very sorry for that uh this piece of shit thing right here puts out a lot of light but apparently it won't reach my fucking head because, you know, blocking it like a damn eclipse because I got a big old fat ass head. Had to order an extra large football helmet for me. Went two weeks in practice, no football helmet. Wasn't allowed to hit it. He pit people. It was gay. But, uh, just go follow Joey Leds and Outlaw and Metal Art Dipper 99 and Brittle Dips. Pretty sure it's Metal Art Dipper 99. Don't really know. Um, so, thank you all for watching. Please subscribe, like, comment. Leave a dip in there, and I'll, I might try to review it, but, you know, it's kind of hard. So, I'll uh, see you guys later, and I'll probably post another video sometime later.